Today's video should be a short one. We're going to talk about taking measurements and circuits. And there are two, two things that we're going to use for that. One of them is a voltmeter. Um, and it should be pretty simple. A voltmeter measures volts. So a voltmeter is going to measure voltage. The other thing we have is an ammeter. Ammeter. An ammeter measures current. <clears throat> and the way we're going to start saying this to help us know how these things work, a voltmeter measures the voltage across spell across wrong. It's okay. It measures the voltage across an element. An ammeter measures the current through. Through a wire, through a battery, or through something. So if we look at this, so there's a very simple circuit where we have a battery connected to a resistor. Now, the symbol for a voltmeter is a V with a circle around it. The symbol for an ammeter is an A with a circle around it. Those are the two things that we're going to use to measure stuff. So, voltmeter measures voltage across an element. <clears throat> Before we do this, let's say, let's say this is 10 volts and I have a 10 ohm battery. So we already know what the current's going to be, and we're going to look at how the voltage acts. 10 volts means at this point, I got 10 volts. This point, I've got 10 volts. But down here, I've got 0 volts. And down here, I've got 0 volts. But right here, again, still 0 volts. So, it would not be useful for me to use the voltmeter here, nor to just have to go in one spot. To use the voltmeter, we need to go we want to measure the voltage, we want to measure the potential difference between two points. So, the voltmeter has to go in parallel. Because I want it to measure two different points and tell me the difference in potential between those. That's why we say it goes across a circuit element. I could also put a voltmeter across our battery because the two sides of that are at different voltage. Now, when we put this in, we don't want it to affect the, uh, the circuit. And if we look at what's happening in our circuit, we have current running here, and it's going to run through here. Now, what we don't want, we'll do it in red, we don't want current to run this way. We don't want that. So in order to stop the current, the resistance should be large. We want this resistance to be so much more than this resistance that all of the current still runs through, um, still runs through this resistor. So the resistance of a voltmeter, we want to be infinitely big, ideally. We don't have infinite resistance in real life, but we get huge. Okay, so a voltmeter goes in parallel, has a very large resistance. An ammeter, we want to measure the current through something. So for an ammeter, we're going to have to break apart our circuit and stick the ammeter right in the middle. So let me actually break it apart. We want the ammeter. We want the ammeter to be. No, that was not what I wanted. We want the ammeter to be in the way of our circuit, of our current, because we want that current to run straight through the ammeter. So an ammeter, this in red, ammeter goes in series.
We want it to be in the way of the current. We want the current to run through it so that we can measure it. But we don't want the ammeter to affect anything. We don't want the ammeter to change um, that current in any way. Nor do we want the ammeter, we don't want it to have a different potential difference between these two points. So ideally we want the resistance to be tiny. So for this ammeter, the resistance is going to equal zero, ideally. Usually it can't get down to zero, but we can get really, really, really close. So in an ammeter, we want the resistance to be very, 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 very small. Um, in class today, we're going to play with some of this, so uh, be ready for it. But this is how a voltmeter and an ammeter work to measure current and voltage.